Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Today's special recipe is a much requested recipe. Actually many of you have been asking this for a very very long time and now I have finally decided to share this recipe with you guys. This is squid masala. So we are going to make this nice spicy squid masala. So I have also showed how to clean the squid and cut it into pieces and you have to make sure that it's nice and fresh. So why wait, let's get started and check out the recipe. So first we are going to clean the squid and cut into pieces. For this recipe I have taken about 1 kilo of medium to small size squids. I have washed it nice and clean. First I am going to remove the heads along with the tentacles. There is a small cartilage present inside, just pull that out gently and very slowly. Just discard that also. Next I am going to gently remove the fins, just take that out. Now just peel off the skin, it usually comes out very easily. So now we have the body that is the tube. So wash it nicely, once you've removed the skin, you can see it's nice and clean. Just clean the insides as well. So now you can cut the tube into about 1 cm thickness. So for this recipe, I'm not using the heads, but if you do want to use the heads, you can clean it nicely and use them as well. Now we've prepared the squid, it's nice and clean. Let's start making the masala. I've taken 1 kilo of squid after cleaning and cutting into pieces. This is about 3 4 kilo, that's about 750 grams. First, I've added about half teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon red chilli powder and add about half teaspoon salt. Just mix everything. Just adding the turmeric powder, salt and chilli powder will add a lot more flavour to the pieces. Take a nice white pan, add about one and a half tablespoons of coconut oil. Now I'm using coconut oil for this recipe but you can use any cooking oil of your choice. Next I'm adding one small onion finely chopped. Just saute it for about a minute. Next add about 25 shallots finely chopped. So I'm mixing two kinds of onions here. There is the large onions and the shallots. Now if you don't have shallots, you can just use the large onions. Shallots will give a very nice flavour when they caramelise. Next add 2 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. Add 1 green chilli chopped. Add a few curry leaves. Next add 2 tomatoes finely chopped. Saute it for about 3-4 to four minutes till they are nice and mushy. After 5 minutes, I am going to add all the spice powder. First add a teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon cumin powder, 2 teaspoons coriander powder, half teaspoon pepper. Now mix everything nicely. You can adjust all the spice powders depending on the quantity of squid that you have taken for the recipe. I am going to add about quarter cup of water to mix everything together. So we are just going to cook till all that raw masala smell goes. Now I am going to add the marinated squid pieces. Add it, mix everything together. After about a minute, add 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder. After adding the garam masala powder, mix it all in. Continue to cook the squid. So you can see the masala is coming together beautifully. Maintain the flame on a medium high, so you don't want to overcook the squid. So I am cooking it for just about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, add a few curry leaves and a few freshly chopped coriander leaves. Mix it in. Finally, I am just going to add the juice of half lemon, the small lemon. Quickly mix it. Wow, the aroma is just incredible. There you go, this absolutely delicious spicy squid masala is ready to be served. Make sure you follow all the instructions and tips to make this squid masala perfectly. So here is this nice delicious 
spicy squid masala for all the seafood lovers especially those of you who enjoy squid now this can be enjoyed with some nice rice or rasam by the side or you can enjoy it as is but make sure you make it nice and fresh and enjoy share it with your family and friends and let me know how it turned out for you guys The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description. You can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now. So you can place your orders on 21frames.in.